Strike, defend, evade is a fantastic drill. So what you can see here is I'm standing behind Tammy, throwing the ball into uh, the crazy catch. We're on the same side because at the start of the drill we want it to come back at a relatively consistent uh, rate of knots and uh, height and velocity and trajectory as well. Um, and we started off just trying to get out of the way of the ball. So it was all about evading, trying to make sure that you're still in for the next ball, that your body's intact. Uh, and Tammy's getting out of the way of the ball fantastically well. The green ball we used for that one uh, to start off with, and we got a good reaction. So the ball generally bounced up a little bit higher as well, which made it realistic to the task that we set. Then we went to a red ball and we started to try and hit every ball. So the intention was to have a go at every single ball. The red balls have got a little bit more hardness in them and they sprung back at a lower level, attacking the body more, maybe attacking the, the chin area more. And Tammy was able to take all of those uh, balls on and hit them really, really well. Um, and then finally, we brought in a yellow ball. We had the yellow one as a defend. So she'd get up big because sometimes you're a bit unaware of where the ball's going to bounce low or high and you've got to look to play as many balls as possible. She did that fantastically well. So I was throwing balls of different colours into the net, uh, it's springing back like at her and she was having to make decisions whether she defended the ball, whether she evaded the ball, or whether she attacked the ball. Fantastic cricket development. So as you can see in this drill with Tammy, I'm standing behind and throwing the ball from a very safe position. But I'm also involved in the drill enough that I can actually uh, see what's going on and I can give her some advice about how she could move, how she could get her hands up, whatever the case may be. It gives you a unique perspective using uh, the wild child and crazy catch to be able to stand close, be involved and still be able to watch safely. Uh, normally we have to stand on the outside of the net to do that, that distance. It doesn't always lend itself to a, to a perfect and unique coaching experience for both the player and the player.